Hey, Mr. Hall's class. Tonight's homework is 1.12, grouping symbols. What I'm going to help with is this is a continuation from order of operations, where we did PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, the order that you solve each equation. Last night we focused on the parentheses, and tonight they actually added an extra set where we actually will have brackets surrounding parentheses. Remember, don't let this scare you. Take it one bit at a time. What you need to remember when you see brackets, for example, we have these matching ones all the way at the edge. Always look inside there first, and if there's other parentheses, you'll do them first. Now notice there's two sets inside this one. It doesn't matter which one you do first as long as you do both of them before you start doing the 30 minus because that is not inside any parentheses. All right, so to solve this one, we're going to start at the very beginning. We look at the parentheses. The brackets are this main part way over here. We're actually going to look a little bit smaller just at the 9 times 2. Okay, 9 times 2 is 18. Then we're going to look over here at the next one. Okay, we need to do that before we do anything else. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, now these are still both inside the brackets. So we need to do that first, bring down the subtract, which we haven't done yet, and 18 minus 12. We get 6. Okay, now that was our answer from the brackets. Okay, I draw it there just so we can kind of see. I'm actually going to get rid of them now, and we're going to do pull down this 30 minus, and we have 30 minus 6. This is the last step, and notice we saved that 30 minus until we solved everything in these brackets. Everything in there equaled 6, then we drop down the 30 minus, and the answer is 24. All right, here's where it gets a little scary. This is one of the bigger problems that the students have on their homework. Okay, I really want you to take it one step at a time. At first, you look at it, and it looks very scary. You've got three different types of brackets. We need to just remember that each matching one is the whole set. For example, this far one that has a little point at the end matches this one. So that means this whole thing is part of that one. Okay, If we break that even smaller, which is what we want to do so we don't scare ourselves, we look inside there, and we're going to notice we have normal brackets, and then inside that, regular parentheses. Okay? The way that we want to focus on this is we're going to take small parts and work our way out. So we're actually going to start with the 8 minus 3, then we'll do times 2, then we'll do the same thing over here, and then we'll add all those together. Okay? So let's just start very simply. 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay? So we've solved this part. Now we're just going to move one start step bigger to these brackets and just pull down times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, so that wasn't too tough, and we took a whole chunk out of this. We solved this whole part, and it equals 10. Okay. Now we're going to look at the other side. Notice that it's got the parentheses, little parentheses, bigger parentheses than the giant ones. So we're going to start small with the 5 times 6, which is 30. Okay, we solve that part. Now we just need to do a little bit bigger. We're going to do the bigger parentheses and just drop down this minus 5. When we look at it really small, it makes it a lot easier. 30 minus 5 is just 25. Okay, so here's our second part. So we've already solved all of that, all of that. We just need to drop down our plus sign, and we're solving this last part with the funny little points. Okay. And all that's going to be is 10 plus 25. Okay, 10 plus 25 is 35. Okay, we're not done yet. We just finished everything in here. We have to get the part we haven't even touched yet, which is divided by 5. 35 divided by 5. 5 goes into 35 seven times. Okay, so our answer is 7. So really, I know it looks huge, but if you take it one step at a time, you take a deep breath, Start at the small parentheses and work your way out. Then you can solve it. 